in order to address the challenges of limited access to water for irrigation during the dry season, especially in rain-fed areas, the Sustainable Agricultural Intensification and Food Security SAIP, has embarked on supporting farmers to adopt small-scale irrigation technologies SSIT. Small-scale irrigation is a climate-smart agriculture practice that enables farmers to increase their incomes and improve their resilience. Under the Irrigation and Water Use Efficiency component, SAIB has promoted technologies and best practices for increased availability and efficient use of water for irrigation to increase crop productivity and increase farmers' resilience to climate volatility. In Mwanza, we are doing uh, four value chains. We have chilies, ginger, garlic and uh, turmeric. Uh, currently, we are in the season of uh, doing uh, chilies. We just finished harvesting our turmeric and uh, ginger and exported them. We work closely with uh, Saip. Saip has really uh, helped us. We put, uh, because with this infrastructure here for water, it's very easy for us to, to improvise. So for instance, we, these drips are our own, but uh, we couldn't put the drip here if there was no irrigation. So this is one of the ways we've benefited and uh, it's a really, really good thing because it's helped us to, uh, to grow and export throughout the year. Um, so for us, it's just easy. We can just improvise and put water, a drip line, sprinkler. Saib has aimed at building the resilience of smallhold farmers and agribusiness investors to climate shocks and changing weather patterns by supporting them to install small-scale irrigation technologies. And this has allowed smallholder farmers to start producing crops all the year round. Uh, fresh uh, vegetable exporter, we've been doing French beans all along with outgrowers. But now uh, we decided to have our own farm where actually even we can be having uh, demos to train even the farmers. For, for more production, good quality and quantity. So the farm we acquired here at Chibondo is six, six hectares. It is on lease for 10 years renewable. Currently we have already plowed the two hectares as you can see it. Eh? This one is already plowed is uh, two hectares, but which is already installed with the drip irrigation, with the by, by the Holland Green Tech in partnership with uh, SAIP, which is the major key player in this project as well. And uh, we appreciate very much. I say, if it's not for SAIP, uh, maybe we could have not been where we are now. But actually, let me first appreciate for that one. The project is contributing to the government of Rwanda's plan on subsidized farm-owned SSID. This is intended for improving productivity and commercial farming by providing matching grants and a support package for farmers to access small-scale irrigation equipment. Saib puts decision-making power directly in the hands of smallholder farmers and investors who apply for the SSIT matching grants, choose the preferred irrigation technology and own irrigation equipment and accept responsibility for its operation and maintenance. Icyo rero Saipo yatuzaniye yaduhaye amazi tubasha kuhira ibihingwa biri mu murima dukoresheje ayo mazi ari naho dukoresha imashini kayazamuraho amazi atabasha kugera ikintu turusha abandi nuko twebwe muzuba duhinga ntago tujya duhagarara Icyo rero tubona bidufite hakamaro nk'ubu nkambera yetu tutarabona Saipo ntabwo twashoboraga guhinga muri ibi bihe byizu the small-scale irrigation technology includes ready-to-use half-hectare to 10-hectare to farms with a complete drip kit, sprinkler kit, rain gun kits, rain pipe with portable diesel or petrol motor pump or solar-powered irrigation system, and pipes and rainwater harvesting through tanks, plastic or concrete, and dump sheet technologies. <laughs> hanyuma abasha kujya muri idamu mureba tukabasha kuyakuramo dukoreshera amapompe tukuhira 
ibyo rero byatugiriye akamaro cyane muri rizu mwitegereje no kuyindi misozi duturanye nayo murabona ko nta handi kigiye bari guhika Irrigation has enabled farmers to grow more and different kinds of crops all the year round, unleashing their potential to increase food production and improve incomes and livelihoods. Where once there was limited cultivation of vegetables, farmers are now growing high-value crops such as chili pepper, French beans, turmeric, ginger, garlic, cucumber, tomatoes, onions and fruits such as tree tomatoes and passion fruits as well as flowers. I think uh, we are also engaging right now with growers to help us just to get more more uh, of the product because it's, uh, the market is so big there is no limit so because it's a, it's a, well, the company has presence in all, all the continents uh, um, they do spices, it's a large spice company so <clears throat> is not an issue. SSIT has allowed farmers to access water for their fields, enabling them to grow horticultural crops throughout the year. Irrigation system is not only helping to improve agricultural production and farmers' incomes, but more importantly, it is boosting the supply of food during the dry season. Saib is funded by the Global Agriculture and Food Security Program GAFSP, through the World Bank Group International Development Association IDA. The project is implemented under the Single Project Implementation Unit SPIU of the Rwanda Agriculture and Animal Resources Development Board RAB. Saib is currently implemented in the districts of Rurindo, Karonji, Guamagana, Gatsiwo, Rutsiro, Nyanza, Kayonza, Nyabihu and Ngoma.